guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 13 and 14 of Jabba's Reincarnation. It's gotta get started with episode 13 and 3, 2, 1, go. Is she really getting horny over man sweat? Like, I, I, okay, I've never known a real life chick who is like, yes, I get horny over men sweat. Me, we're not gonna talk about me. Poor rocks. Oh, baby. Oh. What do you think? He a man whore. What, what do man whores do? I mean, mm, do we need to say it? Like, damn. Man whore! <laughs> Please, for the love of God, let my babies meet up today. I need them to see each other. Like, please. Like, oh, just give it to me. Right? 
And, and Rudy's fine. Wasn't this just last week's episode, but now in her POV? Yeah, this is exactly what it is. Yeah, because she's going to run, like, right past him. Yep. Ah! Stop it! Fuck up! Up, hold up, but she was getting intel, but not in a way that she thought. But, like, So then eventually, what, in a couple of days, Rudy and the wall, so go to the next town. You guys are really just teasing me. Like, bruh.
like, the, you know, I thought this show was good at teasing me, but, like, I, you know what? There's other shows that have teased the shit out of me, but this show, this show takes the fucking cake. Oh, damn. <laughs> Are you getting seasick, babe? Oh, God. No, no, you're, you'll be fine. Feel better? That doesn't sound right. Okay, no, that's just the music. <laughs> Mm 
You have to. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Mm-hmm. Here comes the bloodshed. Oh, well, at least we got to see the body twitch. That's an A++ plus plus for me. You would. Hmm? Oh, oh, thank God. <sighs> Yeah, because now y'all a big ass group now. Jesus Christ. Huh? The dog? Like, yeah, I want to save the dog, too. But, like, seriously, you you guys come first. You're not going in there by yourself. Oh.
I mean, a little too easy. Ah, shit! No, oh, he's so cute. like last week's American Horror Stories in a nutshell. Like, oh my god. Literally, being a good person ended up getting someone killed because he was a good Samaritan. Was like, oh hey, let me save this girl. You know, there's somebody in her car and he might do things to her. In the end, what happened to him? He died at the end of the episode? <laughs> Which was so fucked up. Like, I was like, no, I think he's gonna survive. And then Oh, he died, and look at the blood. <laughs> what are you about to get his ass beat? <laughs> oh, God, I really thought Roxy and the rest of them would have stayed at the town a little bit longer, but no, but th that's the same thing with Rudy, because they all moved to the next destination quickly. So, oh, uh, like, God, my baby's beating up. Like, bruh, like, why are you doing this to me? Come on, damn it! Please, like, just give it to me! <laughs> I just want it so bad. I want them to hug and fucking embrace. Like, that's all I want. I just want to see how, like, she she sees him and she's like, oh my god, one, you're alive, two, you fucking girl, so damn <laughs> Please, just give it to me. Just give it to me. Like, fuck! Oh my god! Like, bruh. Also, this girl had a damn orgy. <laughs> I mean, she did! Oh my god, poor Roxy. <laughs> you come back. Because, you know what was funny? Like, going into last week's episode, I was like, okay, so what did she see when she got home? Oh! <laughs> talking about getting horny over men's sweat you know I, I, I you know i thought she was the first but i'm thinking i forgot about what's her face from um how have we got the dumbbells you lift and how what no she got horny over muscles and i mean i wouldn't blame her because muscles on guys are just like fucking good that, that's a weakness it's a weakness that's one of my weaknesses and such it, it's it's that and then it's worse when, and I've seen this so fucking much, no matter where I go, whether I go on Instagram, TikTok, or fucking Twitter, it's worse when it's a guy and, and it's the veins. The veins do something for me, 
And I mainly blame Marvel movies or any generic superhero movie because your girl likes that and it's just... Oh, God, like, it's everything. <laughs> it's everything. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. All right, episode 14 in three, two, one, go. We're okay, we're in some tropical esque. Now, if we would have saw palm trees, that would have been like Florida. Oh my god! I mean, yeah, it looked disgusting, but it looked good when he ate it. Well, I bet. Mm hmm. That looked like a big ass chocolate. <laughs> I mean, it looked good. I tried it. Look at this one! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm getting hella to your eternity vibes. I'm not ready for Tia Eternity Season 2, no, oh my god. Uh, fall is gonna be so freaking crazy. Damn, they ain't even give you no damn clothes, bro. Like, Oh. I 
least give him like a fucking pants. Oh my god, look at the damn spider. The spider like bite, <laughs> bite his dick or something. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Can you imagine if that happened? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I would cry if I was a guy. Unfortunately, no. Yeah, he's definitely going to have a degrading kink after the end of this, like, big-ass fetish. Sometimes. Can we give Rudy some fucking clothes? Yeah, what'd you do? Yeah, they keep throwing water at him. (laughs) 
my thing is, why don't you just go down the poop hole and then try to avoid the... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well, yeah, it is more hotter at night. They're burning something. Oh, shit! Y'all about to die. Get the fuck out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, damn. Hmm. That's a fucking hurricane. And of course, that took a lot out of them. Uh huh? Seriously? I figured he was going to be bad, but damn.
No. No! Please don't kill the dog. Yeah, there's no way in hell he can come back from that. Beautiful T-Bag!
I know. Like, damn. Oh, is he about to die? Oh, she pretty. Damn, he about to get the Game of Thrones. That's fucked up. Then, okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So, are her parents dead too then? Did they kill them first before the grandfather? Or did they just kill the grandfather first and then her parents? Oh my god. I hate to think that, but like, the way this episode just ended, like, it looks like the signs maybe point to guys. Oh, God, why would you do that? Now when she gets home, she's going to be upset. She might be an orphan when she gets home. Oh, God. What the fuck? Like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. So her grandfather betrayed the kingdom, and that's why he got killed. Yeah, they they they, they really literally said, "Oh yeah, you know, we're gonna give him the Game of Thrones season one death, which is fucked up by beheading him." I mean, that's fucked up. Hella fucked up. Okay, so now is the dog gonna be a part of the group now? Please say yes, yes. Like, oh my god, are we gonna have puppy every single week? Oh my god, your girl's gonna love that if that happens. And watch it not happen, cause then you can we gotta have puppy. Like, oh, he's so fucking cute. Like, oh my god, <laughs> oh, <I'm> the puppy. <laughs> but uh, thank God that he was able to save the kids. Like for a moment, I was thinking, I was like, you were really gonna let this dude walk away. With these children, you're gonna you're gonna be looking at us the bad guys. Like you don't want that. Like Rudy, think with your head, with your fucking head. Use your intelligence. But like, oh, thank God, because like for a moment, you know, y'all had me in that first half. Not gonna lie, really had me in that first half. Because I was like, bro, they're really about to do this. Like, oh. But the fact is, dude, just used Rudy as like a. A tool slash distraction in order to lead them to the village so that they can kidnap more kids. That's also fucked up. So, also, moral of the story do not trust everybody you meet because you never know good, bad, everything in between, you know, until you really get to know them. Then, after that, yeah, you might have to, you know, 
you know, do what you got to do. But, you know, we, we do it, you know, because we have to be safe. That's all. But, yes, I just, oh, God. Now that, like, her grandfather is dead, I, I don't know where we're going with this show now. Because, like, we're, we're, we're very close to being done with us. Like, we, I, I'm guessing there's, like, 20... I don't have to go back and look on my phone. It's 20-something episodes, what, 23, 24 maybe? Or I could just look after before I edit and such. So we are getting fairly close. I just feel like when we get to the end of it, that's when we're going to see Edith cry over her grandfather and everything, and maybe even her parents, once she learns about the fact that they, specifically as of right now, her grandfather is dead, and then we possibly get something on her parents. I don't really know, but like that's killing me right now like bruh I, I need to know I really need to know don't like I cannot wait a week and this is why I'm gonna try to watch the next two episodes this Friday since I don't really have any shows on Fridays and such usually sh that's just like a catch-up day for me or unless I'm probably going to watch um something that day depending on like because I ain't getting home until seven fucking o'clock in the uh, fucking evening like oh it sucks but yeah I mean both episodes were good very very good it's just that ending to episode 14 holy shit is all what I have to say about that but other than that guys that is my reaction review towards episodes 13 and 14 of Jobless Reincarnation if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons. And next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 15 and 16. <laughs> Bye, guys.